Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December and Eternal Life. December 12th, No More Sin And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Revelation 22, verses 3 and 4 Every trace of the curse is swept away. One reminder alone remains. Our Redeemer will ever bear the marks of His crucifixion. Upon His wounded head, upon His side, His hands and feet are the only traces of the cruel work that sin has wrought. Says the prophet, beholding Christ in his glory, he had bright beams coming out of his sight, and there was the hiding of his power. That pierced side whence flown the crimson stream that reconciled men to God, there is the Savior's glory, there the hiding of his power. Mighty to save, Through the sacrifice of redemption, he was therefore strong to execute justice upon them that despised God's mercy. And the tokens of his humiliation are his highest honor through the eternal ages, the wombs of Calvary will show forth his praise and declare his power. The Tamascum to which holy men have looked with longing since the flaming sword barred the first pair from Eden, the time for the redemption of the purchased possession. The earth originally given to men as his kingdom, betrayed by him into the hands of Satan, and so long held by the mighty foe, has been brought back by the great plan of redemption. All that was lost by sin has been restored. God's original purpose in the creation of the earth is fulfilled as it is made the eternal abode of the redeemed. The righteous shall inhabit the land and dwell therein forever. Then we shall enjoy with him all the glories of the world to come throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. There is nothing in the kingdom of God to disturb or annoy. This is the life that is promised to the overcomer, a life of happiness and peace, a life of love and beauty. There is no sin, no distracting care, nothing to mar the peace of the inhabitant. An eternal life, December 12th.